temperament motors. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. And welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. We begin today's show in Peru, where a three-judge panel has ordered the American activist Lori Berenson back to prison to serve the remaining five years of her 20-year sentence. Berenson and her 15-month-old son, Salvador, had been free since May, when she was released on parole. Berenson is the American activist who was arrested in 1995 in Lima, accused of collaborating with the rebel group Tupac Amaru Revolutionary Movement, or MRTA. She was initially sentenced to life in prison for treason, but four and a half years later, due to international pressure, her sentence was vacated. She was retried by a civilian court, which reduced her sentence to 20 years. On Monday, Berenson appeared in a Peruvian courtroom and pleaded for the judges to allow her, her and her son to leave for the United States in order to seek medical treatment. She apologized to the people of Peru. If my participation contributed to societal violence, I am very sorry for this. If my coming to Peru has meant more harm to the country, I am very sorry for this. And those who are affected by my words or actions, I ask their forgiveness. Lori Berenson also told the court she does not pose a danger to anyone. I lament the repercussions that my parole has had on society. This has always been a media case since I was detained. The truth is, despite how it hurts me, I accept that I have been ostracized. But according to the law and based on my behavior, I do not represent a danger for anyone. For more on the story, we're joined on the telephone by Lori Berenson's mother, Rhoda Berenson, in Lima, Peru. Rhoda and her husband, Mark, run the website freelori.org. Uh, Rhoda, welcome to Democracy Now! Can you explain what has happened? Why has your daughter, Lori, and her son, Salvador, your grandson, been uh, re-imprisoned? Hi, Amy. Uh, <laughs> there uh, was a, an appeal on Lori's parole. Right after she was granted parole in the end of May, the state prosecutor appealed that. That's a, a process that's, that's permitted. Either side can appeal. Uh, and that was what was being studied uh, in the courtroom. On, uh, there were papers that went back and forth on uh, Monday. And uh, the there were a couple of main issues that the prosecutor had uh, brought up, uh, namely that Laurie did not serve a full 15 uh, years, that's three quarters of her sentence, but had, uh, it had been shorter because she had worked. If you do work study time, you can shorten that. Uh, it's a standard procedure, and that's how everybody has done it in the past. And, and there were, uh, was also an issue about the apartment that I'm right now sitting in, as to whether or not the police had seen uh, the apartment prior to uh, the decision to give us parole. The police come and check that the apartment really exists and that uh, uh, people aren't saying they're moving someplace that doesn't really exist. So that was what the issue was. Uh, the decision yesterday, that because the apartment hadn't been checked before the judge granted parole, that the apartment must be checked. The judge then has to say the apartment was checked, and then once again decide whether or not to give Lori parole. And that in the meantime, uh, Lori must re return to prison. So because there was a technical error, because the judge did not order the, the house uh, inspected, uh, Lori had to return to prison until this is all settled. And it, it's just absolutely outrageous. And actually, even after, while Lori was living here, the police do come and check once a month. That's a, a standard parole procedure that every, so they've been here. It was all ludicrous. I mean, there was a, 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 a famous uh, Peruvian uh, a lawyer who was last night saying, it, it, it's, you know, just ludicrous to send her back to prison until you finish that up, because then they can appeal again. So they haven't really decided on 
uh, on any issues other than this technicality. So I know it's probably complicated for you, for your listeners, but there was a technicality in the original decision to give a parole, and Lori has to be imprisoned until that is resolved, which will probably take a couple of months, at which point we assume that uh, that's going to be taken care of. The judge will once again say she's granted parole. She should then be out on parole again. But then again, this is Peru, so you never know. But that, that's what our assumption is. But then it may be appealed again. So uh, this is this is something that only happens to Lori Berenson. Uh, you know, we've been at this for 15 years. Hundreds of Peruvians who have been involved in, in, in political terrorism cases have... Rhoda? Uh, we seem to have lost Rhoda Berenson, mother of Lori Berenson. Again, she has been re-imprisoned uh, along with her uh, son, Salvador. Rhoda Berenson speaking to us from Lima. Rhoda, did we reestablish a connection? Yes, um, I'm here. Where did you lose me? Just in the last second. Juan? Uh, Rhoda, I'd, I'd like to ask you, it's, you were mentioning the uh, This is Peru. Uh, as you were talking, we were showing some of the video to those of our of our audience that have uh, video access or TV access to showing the frenzy of the press around, uh, around this case. Could you talk about the climate uh, in Peru ever since uh, uh, Laurie was released? Well, it was actually. The climate uh, has always been like that for Laurie, if anything happens and her name is mentioned. But the press in Peru... Um hmm. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will go to a break, uh, see if we can get her back on. Um, Rhoda Berenson is who we've been talking to, mother of Lori Berenson. Uh, Lori and her son have been re-imprisoned to serve out the full 20-year sentence um, after she's already served 15, though her mother says this may be a technicality and she could be out sooner. This is Democracy Now! We'll be back in a minute.